Okay, here we are back inside Matrix Gold once again. Thanks for tuning in. I hope the videos are helping you in your designing process. If they are, please smash that subscribe button, tap on that notification bell, and uh, leave me a like. And uh, also, please uh, leave a comment. Really appreciate it. Uh, I had an email the other day. I've been uh, really swamped last week. Uh, I haven't had time to do much of anything except for work it's that time of year right uh so uh let's go ahead and start get get into this uh we had a request to do something like this here okay so what we're going to do is uh, try and duplicate or come close to uh that design uh there all right uh so what we're going to do first i don't know the ring size and i don't know the stone size so i'm going to uh do the guesstimation but uh again it, it's most of it should be parametric there are some things that you'll have to be careful of and i'll try to explain those as we go along uh so let's grab a ring rail uh here first uh, and just snap it out there and then hit enter I'm gonna grab my ring rail go straight to the gems and we'll do a gem on uh, uh, gem on ring rail right and we'll go over here to our dynamic commands we'll leave it at diamond we'll switch the round to the emerald shape right and again I, I don't know the uh, size but they uh, look pretty uh, big so 3.75 by 2.5 maybe uh something like that right of course we don't want it that far off our ring rail either do we so we're going to take that in our z offset and then drop it down pretty close to our ring rail but we want to do want to leave a little space there uh you know, something around there should be okay so we have maybe a half a millimeter or so maybe a little less than a half so let's bump it up just a little so we're one two two and a half that should be fine right there so we'll just go ahead and say this is okay uh just watch how close you put it because you're gonna have to be grinding some of that out uh, or whatever uh so we'll just go ahead and take that next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, grab this and we're going to go to our transform menu and then pull our array it, right uh, and I'll give it some shading so we can kind of see what's going on out here and I'll keep a look uh, over here as well as right here and we'll just kind of uh, object count we'll just drag that until we get them pretty close without touching something like that perhaps so we have still a little gap uh, but uh, if you get any more than that eh, right there not touching so that's good about uh, looks like i have around 26 or so and they are not touching so we'll just go ahead and accept that now i'm going to take that real easy uh normally you'd be tempted to go and do a, a head right settings and go to your head builder and build a head around this well i would recommend uh just uh grabbing them all and then going to your uh, prong placer right and it'll snap this uh lovely bar thing out there which is pretty cool you know we could uh put little channels in there instead of prongs uh which is no big deal but you can come over here instead of auto uh go to a prong uh, and it'll just switch it to prongs and it places them pretty close to where we want them so uh that's you know, perfect right and it gives us the angle that we want as well in between the two stones now you have to do some little cleanup maybe uh first thing maybe nudge nudge them back because you don't want them uh right on the or that far deep in right and of course we're going to need to make them bigger so let's prong diameter uh jack that up to wherever you think you might need it uh and let's see we don't we it looks like this uh the prongs are kind of like uh right in the middle there we'll have to have a little bit on the outside because you need that for uh support but uh they're pretty close to right on that edge right so, and we have to be careful because we're going to do some extra work here uh and taper okay so we have this out here uh let's see if we have a uh taper and we want to drag them yeah it's probably okay yeah it's probably okay uh and of course we definitely want to give it some more height height offset you know so you, your uh, jeweler can set them right uh push those prongs over 
and I think that's pretty good. It gives it a little bit off here. I mean, you could play around with that to where, where you think uh, you like it the best, uh, but I wouldn't, uh, you know, something like that maybe. Uh, again, it's going to have a little bit of offset there. How thick do we got? Uh, so that's pretty thin. Let's bump that up some. Uh, let's take it to around, uh, and then the, let's just drag it in some. Something like that, perhaps. And that should give us enough meat there in between those stones to be able to set them and just give us a little bit of space on the outside. So let's go ahead and say that's good, and we'll take that. Uh, and now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and hold down shift Control, select that one stone, and we'll just go to uh, under bezel. And it gives us an under bezel out here. And we'll drag this uh, down. And we'll take that. Also, we want it just straight, right? It's going uh, straight down. Uh, no angle on it. And uh, probably go ahead and get rid of that dome. Uh, probably don't need that dome. Uh, so let's make this a little bigger. Keep that there. We'll keep that there. And then we'll bump that up to right around our the bottom of our stone there, right? And we'll just go ahead and accept that. We want it past our ring rail. It doesn't matter how far past. And we'll just go ahead and hit enter because what we're going to do next is go to cutters, uh, cut to ring rail, select that, hit enter, and it'll give us that there. And then we'll just take that, go to our transform, go to polar array, and we'll snap as many we need on there. I think there were 26 stones. 25 26 yeah right there okay and it gives us our uh, base out there right and we don't have to worry about those prongs uh, being out there like that that's fine uh, they're not going all the way down but we don't need them to go all the way down because we're going to add those other diamonds out here right so uh we'll just go ahead and leave them where they're at uh, and uh, let's see, uh, you, you could do manipulation. We can also do cutters in there and open that up. So I'm just going to leave it like that and hit enter. So we have all that. Now, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to select that ring rail in there, right? Uh, and we'll go to uh, tools and we'll just get a profile, right? And this profile, what we're going to do is, uh, we'll change that profile, uh, and it looks like it's pretty sharp on the top. So I'm just going to grab a square down here at the bottom, uh, right here, and then cl double click on that. You can make one in your profile editor or whatever. It does, doesn't matter. Uh, and we'll let's see, which side do we want? We'll take it off to this side here. Okay. And it's really huge, and we don't want it that huge. So we'll take this down a little. Uh, I don't think it, it goes a little bit less than our. Uh, stones there not much uh, and then of course uh, we want to bring this in now you can adjust this all day long i'm just going to go ahead and activate auto sweep and put that on there uh, and we you know we have it in a little bit so our center is not our center anymore uh, but it's okay because we can manipulate that it's cra like crazy as well right uh, and we'll just go ahead okay and just kind of lay it out there so it kind of overlaps a little and we can always drag it in or bring it out right however we want uh, so i'll just go ahead and say you know that's about the height thing that's what you're really looking for is the height where you want the height at, right and i'll just say that's uh kind of where i want it uh, and then go ahead and say enter uh, and now I'll go ahead and go to my curves, extract an ISO curve from this surface. And again, it's not really too important uh, right at this moment. We'll just go ahead and snap it in the center. But of course, it goes in there, so it's not really our center. But we can always manipulate this as well. Uh, so we'll go to grab our uh, extracted ISO curve. We'll go to our gems. Uh, we'll go to gems on a curve, right? Uh, gem, yeah, gems on curve. <laughs> Uh, and then we'll go to our target surface and select our object there, right? Now, this one is nice enough for us to put right there at our start position. So what we want to do is grab the end one and then go ahead and swing it around and then bring that dot, the end dot, as close as we can to the, the start dot without 
passing over, right? Because if pass over, just delete them all, right? And then, of course, that spacing, maybe uh, bump in a little bit, uh, depending on what you want. And, of course, these look pretty small, so I'm going to bump them all the way down to uh, the smallest we can get. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and say, and these do not have a cutout. It doesn't look like, it looks like they're kind of placed right on top of that rail. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and say this is good. Now, again, we can manipulate this all day long. We can take this curve and we can uh, move it in. Everything will... That's right. You got to pick your dynamic commands. So let's abort out of that. Uh, let's go ahead and select that curve again and go to our dynamic edit. And then now we can uh, manipulate this and everything updates, right? So we can drag this in, say, uh, and then we can go ahead and just hit enter. And then we can find our line in there. Grab our extracted ISO curve. Go ahead and edit that as well. And we can play around with this all day long. Uh, however you want to set it up, however much space you want in there, right? And we'll just go ahead and say that's okay. We'll go ahead and grab those, uh, go to our settings, go to our uh, prongs, right? And we'll just go ahead and kind of give them a little bit more height for our jeweler not to yell at us too much. Uh, you know, if you're just doing it for a render, you can drop them down or, or do all your things. I don't really uh i just tell the customer those prongs will be like what you see on normal rings i don't go through and do all that extra work for just for a render but uh, some people like to uh personal preference right uh, so we'll bump those up a little bit and of course we want to nudge those out so they're not touching each other uh, and then there you go uh, so there's that and then we'll go ahead and hit enter and give it some time and we'll select those gems we'll select that uh, those prongs and we'll select that surface we'll go to transform we'll go to parametric mirror in our x direction not our y uh, and then hit enter right and give it a second that's a lot of uh, stuff to put out there okay now we have this and you're pretty much done just join everything together or whatever and do your cutouts now here's one thing uh i would first don't do your save it go ahead and uh, job bag it full job bag it or a job bag whichever i think full would be better if you're wanting to manipulate because right now we have full parametric over this right so if we take it and we want to take it up to size 11 uh, we can go ahead and hit a size 11 now that's a lot of gemstones and everything so give it a little time and then once it bumps it up there uh, go ahead and hit enter and give it some time it's a lot of uh, geometry it's got to throw out there right uh, so let your computer have a little uh, you know break and get it all done now if you'll notice uh it it takes our stones at 26 right the polar array so what we can do is go back into our polar array and just kind of uh bump up some more stones to get it to not that many where we still have a little gap so you can the the outside gems the small ones automatically update it's no big deal but the ones in the center you'll have to uh, go back and update but really quick right now the reason why i say save it now before you do your cutouts because if you do your cutouts uh you know your booleans for your stones your 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 um Let's see, cutters, uh, gym cutters. You put your gym cutters and do all your gym cutters on everything. Uh, what it does, it just takes a lot longer to update uh, because that's ex a lot of geometry. It's got to go through and redo all those cuts and everything. So saving it at this point uh, is probably uh, a little bit quicker. You don't have to wait for all that. And you can play around and update it uh, all you want, right? So I'm going to go ahead and hit enter on this. And then I'm going to go back to my ring rail and we'll take it down to, you know, maybe a size uh, five. And we'll just uh, give it a second here to do all that geometry. And it took it down. And, of course, you might want to check your stones again, polar array, because uh, it, it might put them too close together. So we'll just first go ahead and hit enter and give it a second here to uh, do all the geometry again. Because we're majorly updating the outside stones automatically no big deal the insides are definitely overlapping so again just go back to your polar array and reduce your 
gem uh, center stones there to fit where you want them right and you're you're good to go uh, but saving it before you do your gem cutters is is probably uh much quicker and easier uh, than uh, doing it afterwards so i'll take it uh, uh let's see first i'll go ahead and hit enter and i'll do it one more time just so we can get it back to our original size right uh, we'll go back to edit and we'll go and change it back to size seven and then hit enter and give it a second to update creating mesh press to cancel and we'll finish it out all right Okay, so we're back to our size seven, and again, our gym spacing's off because we bumped it back up, right? So go back to polar array and just add a couple more stones on there, uh, and we're back to our original setting, right? And then hit enter, right? Okay, so now we want to go ahead and do those gym cutters, uh, and you'll want to uh, maybe bump that uh, seat cutout below underneath a little bit. And we can drag these up a little bit. In the old Matrix 9, these could not be touching, but in Matrix Gold, they can. Uh, and that looks okay. It gives a nice light and easy cleaning in there. And we'll just go ahead and hit Enter. And we'll just go ahead and do that Boolean. Go to our Solids. Go to Boolean Difference. We'll select that uh, Polar Array. Not the, not the ring rail. Sorry. Uh, our Polar Array in here all those little heads right we'll use that as our first surface we'll grab our cutters as our second surface hit enter and it'll do our cutouts for us and we'll just hit enter so we have some nice cutout in there it gives it nice light uh, and then we'll go ahead and add our cutters to our other prongs here stones here cutters gym cutter and on the one side there we don't need to do both uh, and again uh, maybe bump those up just a little bit be careful though because this one uh, they're real close together and you'll want a little bit of space between them so something like that and i'll just drag those up just a little uh, and we'll check it out yeah okay and then you go ahead and hit enter and then we'll grab uh go to our uh, solids uh and boolean difference this one here with here and this one here enter and then wait for all those cutouts there and uh we'll go ahead and hit enter one more time to accept that and take a look and we've got a nice little cutout there now we can just take this whole polar array thing and just get rid of it go ahead and uh Oh, I locked it up. There we go. Okay. Uh, go ahead, take our stones, hold down shift, prongs, and uh, surface there, and go to transform again, and just mirror that on over to the other side. And then hit X direction, not Y, and then uh, hit enter, and give it a second for it to update okay and there you go uh, there's there's your ring with your cutout now again uh, if you didn't save it before you better save it now uh, because if you go in and say me you know that's this is really sharp right there you, you know you want to do a little fillet or something like that you know I always say fillet I, I noticed that as <laughs> fillet uh, you know it's you're gonna break history right so uh, if you go to your uh, fill it edge and then blend edge and select this edge and make sure your preview is yes i have it set to point two because uh i went ahead and done it earlier uh, and point two was the one that really worked real well uh, and then you can change that one and go over to your other side and we broke history right so we no longer have uh, all that history on there for most of the things so uh, it's just easier to uh, save it and go back and just do these little teeny uh, touch-up things at a later date uh, but let's hide our gemstones and there's your ring bullion those uh, heads on there or those prongs on there bullion union them and you are good to go uh, so hopefully uh, this was a quick one uh, hopefully this will help you and if it does please like subscribe leave a comment and uh, Good designing. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it.